Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ra here, and as you can see from the title of the video, today we're gonna be making our own tier list video. The idea came from Cruz's video, and I said, why not? It seems fun, entertaining video to do, so why not? Um, I'm going to be using the same category he used, so I'm going to be ranking the Xena YouTubers from based on consistency, creativity, and quality of videos, right? And I'm also sticking with the 1,000 subs and over, you know. I know there's a lot of good Xena YouTubers that are under 1K, but this video is for fuck. Drop a like if you want to see that under 1k list, man. And without further ado, Afro send you. Take it away, man. Hey, my. So, let's start. Now, this first one here is very controversial. We have Mr. Bear called himself. Now, I'm gonna put Burkle in A tier. Now, this Burkle is the type of channel that you either hate this channel or you absolutely love this channel. I am a little somewhere in between. I can recognize that he, for the most part, he has good, some good content, but it really does get repetitive sometimes. So, he, I would say he, the quality of his videos is about 8 out of 10. He has very good quality. For his consistency, he literally uploads a video like every day. So, for consistency, I would have to give him a 10 out of 10. And for his creativity, as I said now, 6 out of 10 because we all know it. He makes videos where he fights trash talkers all the time and labels them as he said he can beat me, so I use Shibalabalu to beat him. Like, it gets repetitive over time, but however, I think he's a good channel. I would put Burkle in the A tier. I don't want to butcher these guys' names, but they're basically the same person. So you have Nicola Kong Hanger. I don't know. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, bro. And then you have Imperium Gear. So these guys, I'm gonna just rank them as one because they're basically the same channel, bro. Like they do the same thing. Their edits are the same, and they, for the most part, they do the same amount of videos. So I'm gonna put these guys in the. B category because they okay so these guys they they, they, they for the most part the, the quality of their video would give them a seven out of ten um, for their consistency their consistency especially over these past months weeks that's where they're kind of lacking. So, I would have to give them, for creativity, I would give them a 8 out of 10. Cali. So, Cali, he, he, I think his channel is a very entertaining channel. And I would have to put him in the... If, if he was a bit more consistent with his uploads, I would definitely put him in the A tier. But his channel is very entertaining. And I'm putting him above um, these two guys in the B tier. Now, his quality of his videos, excellent. I'll give him an 8 out of 10. For his consistency though, that's I think that's where he's kind of lacking. I would have to give him a 6 and a half out of 10 for consistency. But his creativity, I think that's where he shines. And I'm going to give him a... I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. On there, son. Uh, yes, sir, indubitably. Oh. <laughs> son, I, son, 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 son. So, for kings now, 
for kings. I'll put kings in the A tier below Burkhoff. His edits are actually really good. Um, so, uh, for the, qual the quality of his videos is very high. I would have to give him a 9 out of 10 for the quality. Right? For, for the consistency now. He, he posts the video every couple of days. Sometimes he can go weeks. So, I'll give him like a 7 out of 10 for consistency but creativity. I'll give him an 8. If you want to know about builds and mechanics of the game, you you should definitely check out his channel. He's, he's one of those guys in the Yo Cruz Thai group. I would put him in the... I would put him in the B tier ahead of these guys. He's leading the B tier so far. Because Kalasora He's, he's basically, he basically does what Nigoi does, but on a smaller scale, alright? So, his videos are entertaining, um, I would say for the quality of videos, he good quality, I'll give him a solid 8.5 out of 10, and for consistency, he, he actually is very um, consistent these days. He streams in videos a lot, so I would give him a 9 out of 10 for consistency. And but creativity, I think it is weak point. And for the creativity, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Moving on, we got my boy LNS. I would have to put LNS in the at the end. Okay. See, the thing with LNS is he doesn't really upload anymore. So because of that, I have to put him in the at the end of the B tier. And he was one of the most intent, entertaining YouTubers to watch, man. Like, the quality of his videos was excellent. I would give him an 8 out of 10, and even 9 even out of 10 for quality, for consistency, 8 for, the, for consistency, for creativity, I would have to give him a 9 out of 10. Mastering Macy. Mastering Mason does what Burkle does, but on a smaller scale. So I would have to put him in the A tier. He's basically Burkle, but doing what he does on a smaller scale. So he does, and he's very good at the game. He's very solid at the game. So, so is Katasora. They're very solid at the game, and so um, his the quality of his videos is very good. Quality, I would say he gets like a nine out of ten for his quality and for consistency. I think he he's one of the few YouTubers that actually I, I think that follows the schedule. He does a video like every day, streams like every weekend. So for consistency, I'll give him another 9 out of 10. And for creativity now, that's I think that's his weak point. Um, for creativity, I would have to give him a solid 7 out of 10. No, for my boy, my boy Nigoi, man. Nigoi, 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 Fembon. Man, Nigoi is one of the most entertaining Xeno YouTubers to watch for me personally. So... Um, if y'all don't know the story by now, he, he was, he was actually almost 16k subs at one point, but he got hacked. So, after that, you know, he, he had to be restarting. So, I think he's around almost 2k, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but he's definitely one of the most, for me personally, entertaining youtubers to watch um the quality of his videos excellent i'll give him a 10 out of 10 um for the consistency though that is definitely his weak point it's because he lost his channel and for the most part he does more streaming so he, his his uploads are very sporadic so his consistency i would have to give him like a 4 out of 10 
but his creativity though his creativity and quality it was makes him entertaining to watch man and he's he has one of the more weirder personalities um for xena youtubers um so i would have to put him at the end i would have to put him yeah, at the top of the a tier list for me personally you know hopefully you get back up to where you were and you're going do some more videos man do some more videos bro well yeah he's definitely the top and he's very good at the game too very good at the game all right now moving on we have jab now jab jab i think is very underrated as a xeno youtuber um but um he 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 does a lot of combo videos trust me if you want to know some op flashy good combos check out his channel bro but and i think he is very very underrated man i would have to put jab at the at the b tier behind Cali. but he, he he i'm i'm telling you man when i want to no know combos he's the one of the channels that i frequently checked out man he he does dope combos and he's actually good at the game too so for the quality of his videos good quality i'll give him an 8 out of 10 for the quality for the consistent i'll give him a 5 out of 10 for the consistency and the creativity not the best but not the worst so i would give him a 7 out of 10 for it. another guy that stopped doing YouTube a while back and I think I'm gonna give him the first um, C tier of this video I, I, he doesn't do videos anymore I don't believe but if you check out his channel you will see a lot of neat builds um, and text and things that you can use to get better but for the quality of his videos um i would say i would give him good quality i would give him a solid eight out of ten for consistent um because he doesn't upload anymore i would have to give him like a four out of ten and for the creativity i would have to give him a six out of ten in style now rhyme rhyme is a special case because he he has over a million followers so his fan base is huge so he plays a lot of Dragon Ball content in general but he wait when he really the reason why he's on here because when him and Syriax meets up man it's always entertaining to watch he's basically Syriax's beating sticks but he, he's a very entertaining guy for the quality of his videos I would say 9 out of 10 for the creativity though I would have to give him a 7 out of 10 and consistency I would give him an 8 out of 10 now speaking of Syrex y'all know man the first S tier the first S tier man this guy is basically the reason why I even started playing this game man he, he's the most he, without a shadow of a doubt the most entertaining um, Xena YouTuber here is he, he, he the quality of his videos top notch 10 out of 10 the creativity of his videos he has a million series he even when this game is dying he comes up with so much fun series to do bro so for creativity 10 out of 10 his weakness now though is consistency he's been and he's just starting to get back into Xenoverse but for the consistency I would have to give him a 7 out of 10 but trust me he, he's hands down no question the most entertaining um xeno youtuber there is man definitely without a shadow of a doubt Boy, if you don't okay please don't square triangle me i'm sorry i don't know what i did to you but don't square triangle me please please i have a family don't square triangle s tier man and that's my boy steed oj and steed jo steed steed gets a lot of hate at times but 
Steve, in my opinion, he he upload 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 a video basically every day, sometimes two a day. He streams regularly, frequently, and the hate he always get is because he doesn't use stuff like key 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 blast cancels and stuns, and that's the knock against him. But I look at it this way: he beats guys that uses those mechanics and he doesn't so that proves that he's actually good at the game if he doesn't have to use those mechanics and beats guys that do I, and I said for, so for the quality of these videos 10 out of 10 good quality for the consistency 10 out of 10 and for cre creativity is his weak one his videos can be somewhat lacking but they're still entertaining for the most part so kami he he is a he's a wild card man because his his videos can either be a hit or when when it's a hit it's a hit and when it's well, but when it's a miss it's definitely a miss but for the quality of his videos top notch i'll give him a nine out of ten right for the consistency though that's his weak part he can go months without uploading a video so i'll put him in the b tier and for the creativity i'll give him a solid 8 out of 10. so i'll put him a b tier below jab and now cabby he's more of a news content channel so he he and zayjian or I look at them as informative channels. So um, I will, for the most part, good solid challenge. I put Cabby behind Mr. Mason. What is the here? Because he's basically the channel that lets me know what's going on in the game. He has good quality videos. I give him an eight. His consistency. I will say it's pretty consistent. Uploads a video basically every day or every other day. So I give him a 9 for consistency, but his creativity though, that's where he's a bit lacking. So I'll give him a 6 out of 10. For Zayjin, I'll put him just behind Cam. Alright? Because, as I said, they're basically the same channel, but Cabby just does it on their larger scale. They're, they're informative channels where you can know about what's going on in the game. And Zayjin is actually good at the game too. He, 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 he knows the mechanics and cancels. So listen, when I tell you I hate tryhards, right? I hate tryhards in this game. But Super Saiyan Tai, he's a tryhard, ain't gonna lie. And he bullies a lot of people, but you can't deny that this man's content is dope, bro. He's a tryhard and a bully, but it make, he makes it look good in an entertaining way. So, and he, he, you can, there's a debate that he's actually the best player in the game. But if you're into seeing some try-hard entertaining gameplay, he's the channel for you. And I'm gonna put him at the top of a tier list, right? And he, cause he have some of the best edits in the game, hands down. His content is dope. I'm gonna give it the quality of his videos 10 out of 10. Creativity, I would say his creativity is a solid 8 and, 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 and a half out of 10. Now his consistency could be a bit more. But so I'm gonna give him a 6 out of 10 consistency. We those. We those. We those. We those. Get out of here. Get Super Itachi. Oh my god. Definitely best player in the game. S tier. Ha! Got he! Got he! Nah, I'm just playing with you, man. Come on. Y'all know. Y'all. Cheese, Mr. Saw, Mr. I never lose a match ever. Cruz! Yo, my, the boy that, you know, put me up.
video. But so for Cruz, Cruz is gonna end up guy that he's he's very good at the game. But he he doesn't really play CSCs, he plays as you can see, he mains hit. Another per I read so hit players, triards, they're all the same to me. But Cruz, he does it in an entertaining way. That is why I watch the video. The quality of his videos, 9 out of 10. Good quality. For the creativity, I lacking, I give him a 6 out of 10. And for consistency, I'll give him another 6 out of 10. Now I'm gonna put Cruz at before after mastering Mason. Right? I think he, he that's a good spot to put him in the A tier. Now for reflux. Okay, reflux is, is another one of those just solid all around good channels. He he he's also very good at the game and he makes dope fighting content too. So um for the quality his quality of videos I'll give him an, an 8 out of 10. For the consistency though, that's where he's lacking. I would have to give him a 6 out of 10. But creativity, I'll give him a solid 8 and a half out of 10. And I'm gonna put reflex, reflux above right below Zaysia in the A tier. And last person we have solo plays. So solo plays, he, he does mods. But and he 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 his channel is unique because his mods are they're actually entertaining to watch. So if you're into mods and seeing some cool stuff on PC, he also does a little information here and there. I'ma put him now. Nah, I'ma put him before LNS. Quality of the videos is nine out of ten. Consistency, I think he does a video basically every day or every two days so I'm gonna give him like a 7 out of 10 and for his creativity I'll give him a solid 7 so that's the tier list fellas um, again if you just my personal opinion um, let me know what you guys think what will you change and see you guys in the next video peace A B